Hello everyone, Wangel here and welcome back to Alice Madness Returns. At the moment we're just at the beginning of chapter 4 in a giant floating castle made out of cards as we're making our way to the domain of the Red Queen, who if you saw my previous let's play was the main antagonist or one of them that we had to defeat on our way to Alice's recovery. So let's continue with the journey shall we? So we just made our way to a little safe spot. It looks like we're going to be facing some enemies just as we go through the archway there. But first of all, let's pick up all this stuff. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Right. Any enemies to face? No? Ah, of course. Oh no, that's the door. I was expecting some enemies. Ah, oh, that's a disappointment actually. If I remember, we will, of course, meet the ruins as usual, but I believe we'll start meeting the card guards again, like we did in the previous game. It, I was trying to remember though, I remember there was one particular one called like the Executioner, and he is a pretty, for the most part, he's a pretty tough foe to face. Uh, you can't defeat him initially, but you'll soon find a way to deal with him. Alright, let's just explore the rest of this castle. Oh, can we pop down here? We can. No, we can't. Yes, we can. Alright, what's in here? We got a memory. Light. Light is useless if what it illuminates causes pain and suffering. Better to cast such things into the dark depths of Lethe, the river of forgetfulness. Uh, of course, now he's bringing in Greek mythology. If I remember right, Lethe is one of the rivers of the underworld. That if you basically drink it, it causes you to forget. Although I could be slightly wrong, it's been a little while since I've worried about Greek mythology and the rivers of the underway. Underworld, even. Underway. I've been play looking at to blame Warhammer a bit too much. <laughs> right. Okay, so we've got a bomb over here, which opens that up. Right, but we can't quite make our way over there as of yet. But if we pop that down, we come over here. We should activate this. And that gives the platforms then. Alright, how are we going to do this now? Right off some extra teeth. Right. Let's have a look. So that current archway is way too high. There's no way we'll be able to reach any of these. So if we head back this way, if I remember correctly, it lowered one of the platforms for us, didn't it? Yeah, this one lowered. So tell you what, let's drop this one down for the moment. And see what happens once we come over to this side. Alright, we'll shoot, hit this. Allows us to come up onto here. That's great. Now that's where we need to go, but we can't make our way just over there yet. So if we head this way first, come down here. Wow, that just gives me an entrance way down to that side. Right. Let's try this. If we pop back onto this platform. Oh, almost. Right. We'll drop this down. Now what I'm going to do is try and activate the other one, see if that causes us just to delay on a timer of sorts. Like that. So now if we run over to here. Alright, it's starting to... Come on, quick, quick. There we go, just in time. Right, let's pick up these teeth, and then continue on our journey, shall we? Now this is quite a nice relaxing level. It's going to change a little bit once we actually get to the Domain of the Red Queen. But for now, it's just nice and peaceful. Oh! Okay, that was got me worried for a second there. Right. It's the problem with these cars is just all sort of jump out in front of you. Wah! Right, let's float down. There we go. Follow this. Alright, what does this do? Okay, it causes that to appear. Because there's some platforms up there. Uh, ah, right, I see. 
Okay. If I wait a moment for this one to come back down, like that, we'll pop this to here. Alright, almost there. Come on. There we go. And jump. Okay. We'll pop this one down here now. Which should allow us then to stay here. Up here as we make our way across. Alright, nothing of use there, it seems. Hang on, what was down there? Nothing. Okay, let's just continue. Just in case that disappears. Right, let's make our way across the... Oh, crap. Oh, just... <laughs> it happens, it happens. Let's not get salty about it. Thank you. That way. Okay. Come on, Alice. You can make it. No, you can't. I blame the game for that. Should have jumped up beforehand. Alright, let's pop over here. Onto this. And let's try that one more time. There we go, that's much better. Now, let's get out of here. Up, up, better way! But, here we are now in the actual domain of the Red Queen. And you can see that Alice's outfit has changed a little bit. But we're going to check it out once we actually make our way down. So first of all... That's it, nearly fell off there. Okay. You can see it's not the most lovely place in the world. But it's where the Red Queen is currently being sort of... Oops. Banished. And we're going to have to make our way to her. Uh, let's go right. And around. Shame this time we don't have the Jabberwocky staff to help out in case we have to fight her again. Or stop me doing things like that. There we go. Oh crap. Boom. Well, I'll tell you what, while that's loading up, don't tell me we're going to have to do the whole slide level again. We do. Okay. But before we go, check out her new digs. This is one of the nice little touches I like about the game, that they do incorporate different outfits depending on whereabouts you are in Wonderland. So you can see that this is very much influenced by both the sort of Red Queen's colours, as well as the little bits and pieces here and there, like with the outfit and uh, so the sleeves up there and things like that. But if I just grab this one moment... I have to get on the computer and everything, don't I? I did, because I'm interested in this sort of thing, and I know some, guy, some of you guys are as well, I wanted to check out what the, these were. So if you can see in the front here, we've got two symbols. One of them is the fa female single symbol, the symbol circle with a plus sign underneath, and the other one is like the fancy horseshoe. Now, according to what I found on the Alice Wiki, the Venus one, which is the one on our left, is the ruler of hearts or love, which represents the queen of hearts. And then the self ascending moon, which is the one on our right, is a ruler of karma and the past, manifested as, well, the queen who we're going to be meeting in a little bit as well. But she looks a little bit different than how we left in her last time. So let's make our way across here quick. Let's just go try and get through this quickly. Along here, along here. Skip this. A little bit slower, Alice, thank you. 
This time, uh, let's go left. See if that's going to make things any easier. So we head here. Come on, round we go. Easy does it. Oh, actually. Just saw a potential gold bottle there. Hadn't noticed that before. Alright, so if we come on this way. And we do the little jump onto here. That's a new extra for the bank. And a few gold teeth as well. Nicely done. Right, let's just continue. Much better going that way than the other way. Alright, let's pop onto here, here, and jump. And here we go. The domain of the Red Queen. Very inviting place, is it not? admire your handiwork, returning to the scene of the crime. It had to be done, Cat. You said so yourself. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. She is a cancer in your body. Excise her or perish. Well, she was the face of evil in the heart of darkness. <laughs> she didn't treat you too well last time. Lost your head, as I recall. She was completely deranged. You picked up her crown, but now you've put it down. You must speak to her. What's left of her, anyway? Alright, so to give you a little bit of context, in the previous game, you explore the world just like you are at the moment in Alice's mind. But at the time, she is in a pretty catatonic state, for the most part, in the asylum. Now, as you venture through Wonderland, you meet the other sort of inhabitants of Wonderland, and each of them is supposed to represent certain parts of Alice's psyche. So for example, the Jabberwocky, if I remember correctly, is her sense of survivor's guilt. The idea that, you know, she survived her family and she felt guilty because of it. The Queen represented another part of her psyche, and so in order to complete the game and sort of release Alice from her madness, we had to defeat those two main antagonists. So the Jabberwocky was one of the first ones we had to defeat out of the two, and then we went after the Red Queen, who was the final boss of the game. So this is why the place here looks a lot... well, it's basically a ruin, because we came here and we tore the place up. And thanks for that lovely bit of commentary. Alright, we're going to have to make our way over this crappy drawbridge in order to try and get over there in one piece. Before we do that, let's pop down here. It's where the ghosts happen to be. Again, it's really nicely what they've done with the art design. Just sort of, it makes you feel like this is completely a, you know, crazy wet place and a suitable place for the Red Queen and what she represented in Alice's mind. But also, the fact that it's just badly damaged, you know, it's just, it's really a big ruin. We've got lots of areas we have to jump across just to get to the castle itself. And we're not alone in this place. Well, case in point. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Anyone else? There you are. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Alright, is it worth me trying to see about making my way back first of all? I just want to see if there's any possible way to get some more teeth, but it's too much of a hassle. We're not going to do that. Let's just continue, shall we? Up onto here. Oh, what's that? Thank you. Uh, what's over here, first of all? I did just notice that. It's in the corner of my eye. Let's wreck that. Ooh, a tablet room. Now, we still need another three of these. Uh, two, after we complete this one. Before we can get an extra bit of health. But, oh, it's one of my favourite ones as well. Here's a tiny brain teaser for a tiny... Well, for you. <laughs> what comes next in the sequence? One, three, four... Seven, eleven. 
Ooh. Interesting. Okay, so in order to do this, they've had to try and muck it up a little bit. I would say it's a combination of whatever two numbers came before. So if one doesn't quite work into it, but one plus three equals four, four plus three equals seven, four plus seven, four equals 11. So it will be 11 plus seven, which should give me 18. You never cease to amaze. And there we go. Nicely done. Now, I like this little bit. This is supposed to be, if I remember correctly, or at least many people for Super Zoom, it's actually at the home of Cheshire Cat. It's very influenced by the Veil of Tears from the very beginning of the game, as you can imagine. But there we go. Another tabula room completed. I like little puzzles like that. Makes you think, you know? Now, before we head back, is there anything behind here that we could maybe get? Like small teeth? No. Okay, never mind. Let's continue through the doorway and enter the castle, shall we? Oh dear. Oh, yes! Zombie card guards! Or I should say undead card guards. Fantastic. Nice. Okay, let's get rid of you. Okay, and whack. Okay, so what we need to do is knock them down onto their back like that, and then finish them off with a nice whack to the chest. And whack. Okay, how do we do with these guys? Same trick. No, we might not need to, in fact. Anyone else? Size some, isn't there? Now something I remember right from the previous game as well is that there's a sort of association between the red pieces and the white pieces of the chess. If you've seen the movie Alice in Wonderland, the remake with Johnny Depp and that, you know that the White Queen, played by Anne Hathaway, is the sister of the Red Queen. Whereas here it's a little bit different. It's not the case that she prefers using playing cards over, well, chess pieces. They just seem to be both weapons in the war against them. So if we pop up to here, we get to meet, I believe, the Red Kingdom's in ruins, but you're the White King. When you defeated her, I tried to reclaim the castle that I was set upon by her monstrosities. The malignant royal bitch still reigns. I'm here to petition her. I must get inside. The only way in is through me. Sacrifices must be made. Those who say so usually mean they should be made by others. Cynicism is a disease. It can be cured. Once inside, beware of the outsized killer who patrols her domain. Never confront <laughs> him. He is invincible. Now cut me loose. I'll show you the meaning of sacrifice. Okay, you insist. So as he said, we have to watch out for the outsized killer in the domain. There is a particular monster we're going to have to be careful of, but I'm sorry, dude. I really didn't want to do that, but I wouldn't have been able to get it otherwise. Let's hit this way. What's this? Yeah, I remember. It's true, require hard choices. Unpleasant sacrifices must often be made to accomplish your desired goal. Indeed. As anyone who's played a strategy game or anything like that can tell you. Alright, let's continue. Alright. Creepy vibes already. Ah, yes, here's the lovely Red Queen, as you can see in the painting. Right. So we've got two options, I think, to go. We can either go left or right, once we go back into that main hallway bit. Every picture tells a story. You wouldn't tolerate a book without pictures when you were a girl. Yes, lovely. Can you not see the resemblance? After all, she is supposed to represent a part of Alice's psyche, so it wouldn't be surprising that they have some resemblance. Right. 
We can't go this way as of yet, and I can't see anything that suggests a leave or anything, so let's pop onto here for the moment. And of course, pop this down. Always a good idea. Ooh, snout. Where did I hear that? Is it coming from underneath, or is it coming from the next room? It's coming to my right. Ah, there. There we go. Once it's got me a new area. Not that it's that big a deal, but still, it might be worth a check. It's down here, first of all. Pool chain. And we got something here as well. Let's wreck this. Pick this up. Oh, I must say, this music is suitably quite creepy. In a good way, you know? It adds to the atmosphere of the place. A sort of haunting presence. This place is pretty much ruled by the dead in more ways than one. Right, okay, we came in here, didn't we? My bad. Let's go this way. Make our way back out. Oh. Didn't see this one before. Right. Just double check, we went through there, we did this. Is there anything here we need to keep an eye out for? No. Oh, then thanks to the notification there. Right, so we've got a new room to play with. So we hit this first. Drop this down. Thank you. What's behind the keyhole? No bear skin rug before the hearth. No deer antlers on the wall. No taxidermic abominations in the house. Demeans the creature's dignity. Indeed. I mean, it's up to people's choices, I guess, but the whole thing about having stuffed animals on the wall never appealed to me whatsoever. But again, I seem to like animals the most, uh, compared to most people, so. Alright, let's make our way onto this quick. What was that? Don't know why I did that. Alright, let's head down here. What's this? Candles. Oh crap. Place is falling apart on us in more ways than one. Alright, we need a teapot cannon for this. Thank you very much. Up we go. Take the bottle up. Alright. Easiest thing to do would just be to drop straight down here. Like so. And um, we could use the airstreams then to get back and then the, once we've finished whatever we were doing over here. This seems like a good area for a fight. There we are. Come on. Right, one. Another one. As long as you know how to defeat the enemies, it tends to be pretty straightforward. Just hit them a few times, knock them down. Hit, hit them with a giant hobby horse and then move on to the next one. Oh dear, what's this now? Oh crap. This is the executioner. This is the thing we need to avoid. Because we have no chance of defeating this as it stands. But we're going to have to try at least. I'm an idiot. Don Quixote had a better chance with his windmills. And without risk of decapitation. <laughs> the current exit is no less so for being hasty. Alright, well, provide me with an exit and I shall leave. Ah, there we are. Right. I managed to get out of there at least. For the moment. He is going to continue chasing us down for a little while. Let's see? Ah, uh, right. Let's get out of here. Oh crap, he's getting closer! 
Oh, phew. Right. He did knock a few bits of health off there, but I was expecting to die from that, so that turned out better than I thought. Ugh. Okay, let's pick these up. See if we can get some more health or something. There we go. Better. Okay, let's see if we can upgrade my weapons now. How much do I need to upgrade them? I do want to get the hobby horse next, so we just need another 25 teeth to upgrade it to level 3. So that would be the next target. Let's get with that. Okay, whack. A weapon's intended function is almost beside the point. Ultimately, it's only as good as the person who wields it. Good word, sir, Dad. Right. Is it this way we need to go? It looks promising. Hello, Cheshire. What have you got to say to me? The Queen's Guardian rarely leaves his filthy lair, but you're special. <laughs> Well, aren't I the lucky one? He decides to go out of his way in order to try and get me. Can we shoot you? Ah, that was worth a try. Okay, let's pop down here. And what's this chain give me? Just notice how dark it is out there today. I'll have to put the monitor back on just so I can actually get some light on my face. I mean, that's what you guys are here for, right? To see more of me? <laughs> right. More cards. Steal you. Right. Oh. That was close. You're not going to be eating my brains today, good sir. Alright, let's finish you off. Bye bye, creepy door head. And here he is again. Oh dear. Okay. It's not too bad. We're back in the castle. He's continuing after us. There's a memory right behind him. Uh, crap. I wanted to try and get that. Okay, never mind. Yes, I would like to continue. In a way, it was a little bit deliberate. I was hoping to either kill myself so I can land and pick up that bottle. Or I could sneak past him, but obviously that didn't happen. Damn, we've lost it. Oh well, we'll just have to get out of here. Well, now, Alice. Okay, continue, continue, continue. Thank you. Alright, more enemies to deal with. Let's get some health up while we're here as well. Oh dear, he's coming in. Ah, oh, he's made it in. Crap. Okay. Okay. How are we going to do this? We've got loads of enemies around us as well. That's not going to help. The only thing I think is... We need to get that out of the way and we need to avoid him. So the only thing that comes to mind is if we can get rid of these cards. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get past him. There we go. Let's pick up all these stuff as when we can. Okay, a few more teeth. Alright, up onto here. And over. That's it. You stay over there, good sir. Oh no, you're going to make it over here, aren't you, in a minute? That's not going to surprise me in the least. No? Okay, music's quieting down. It's a good thing. Alright, and there's some big solid doors behind us. Even better. Alright, let's pick that up. And speaking of teeth, let's upgrade the horse now. So, at the moment, it's the Red Knight from the chest set. And if we upgrade it, it's now a nice, solid steel one. Isn't that lovely? Especially the attention to detail. I mean, I'm playing Call of Cthulhu right now as one of my rentals. And while I'm enjoying the game and sort of the uh, supernatural elements to it, at the same time, 
I can't help but notice this game is actually a better sort of graphically wise, in my opinion, than that game is. And when you consider this game is quite a few years old, I'm actually quite as shocked by that. Oh, come on. Make our way up. There we go. Thank you. Alright. Meet my new friend. Nicely done. Okay, let's jump onto here, make our way around. Alright, I see. Okay, we need to get onto this one. I wonder if we could use that. We can, right. I mean, it makes sense. The uh, bomb is apparently weighs as much as Alice does. So it makes sense that we could use it to keep the platforms up. Right, that's you gone. Oh, crap. Am I going the right way? I'm not sure if I can. Oh, well. Let's just go with it. Okay, there's a switch up to there. So if we jump onto this one. And up and round. There we go. That's that it's done and the door open. Let's get out of here. Ah, one second. What's this? Okay, time for the opposite. We'll drop this down. Come on! Damn it! Right. Let's try that one more time. Okay, so now up with Max. There we go, that's better. Balance is the golden mean of all things, Alice. Between light and dark, between disease and health, or even between wrong and right. Yes, temperance is a very good virtue. Right, what's this puzzle now? Move the pawn along the chessboard, the opposite pawn mirrors your movements. Okay, so if we go up, it comes down towards me, and so on. Complete the chess puzzle by getting both pawns to the goal at the same time. Rooks will block the pawn's path. Avoid the knights as they will destroy pawns. Chess puzzles must be completed within the display movement limits. Ooh, another puzzle. So as you can imagine, this is the very first one, so it's going to be nice and easy. Now, straight, we have to, as we move this one, it will copy us here. So we just need to do this. Ta-da! Time for another one now. So, the way we would do this, you just move straight forward. Now, if you remember, the rooks, or castles, as I often know them as, will block your movement, but it doesn't destroy you. So what happens is, as we move Alice's one to the left, here, the other one stays in place, and we've completed that. And, ta-da! Okay. So with that done, we just need to find a checkpoint and bring today's episode to an end. So let's go through here. There we go, in fact, speaking of checkpoints. So. That's good timing as well, because my teachers came to an end. Okay, so I think now will be a good time to end today's episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And I hope you join me next time as we explore more of the Red Queen's Castle and hopefully find her and deal with the Executioner in some way as well. But until then, take care and goodbye for now.